Let's use scraps to create a fun collage. Hello and welcome to the treasured page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. I'm moving on now into part two of decorating up some envelopes. So if you haven't seen the first half, all I have been doing is taking some packaging. So this is a like a file folder envelope that's used uh, to keep documents and things flat in the post. We all know where it's from, I'm sure. Um, and this one I've cut in half to make these sized envelopes. And what I did is just put some tape, just some packaging tape along there. And then I just had a wonderful time last evening flicking some paint around and just generally experimenting and it's a good way to do that because these boards are quite nice it's freedom to do just that because you're not putting it in a journal you're not um, worrying about whether you're you have made a mistake or anything because I was going to collage over the top of it anyway so it's just me practicing some techniques working out what works what what I like using up the it's not scrap so much but using up gesso that um, I, you know I don't I'm starting to use more of it, but I never knew what to do with it before. So I was using gesso, I was using up the acrylic paints that I bought for a specific project, and they are now just sitting there. Um, so I bought those when we were all in lockdown with my daughter to do a few things. And we did the project, and then you've got so much paint left over. So I'm just using that now in my junk journaling projects. And these are the results. So for this, if you want to craft along, you don't have to do this step at all. You could just, um, you may just have a white envelope or, or a brown one. I'm using school glue. So we just want to, and, and pay no attention to the make or any of this. I just picked this up in a very cheap shop. It, you just want cheap glue. That's a, right, so we want about a tablespoon uh, because I've got a few to do. Um, and I'm just going to put, this is just water, I've got one part glue to one part water. I've made quite a lot because I've got a few envelopes to do here. And then what I'm going to do is to bring in my scraps. So I've got my scrap tray here, I might just have that off to the side so it's not too crowded. Okay, so we've got, a, you know, it's like that and I've got a few more bits here. I've got some napkin um, and book page is the other thing falling in on me right, I've got book page and just you know scraps that come off of the French linen botanical journal projects so the French linen botanical journal series is still open and I will still be adding to it because there are a few more videos to go but running alongside that it, we are now going to be having ephemera making, autumn crafts, happy mail and that is what's going on here. So this is this is sort of leading on now from the French Linen Botanical series and we're gently, well I'm gently, moving into a whole another little area on the side so it's just um, that's what's happening and I think I, I might put it in a playlist because I think I'm going to have a few that are from more autumn crafts so I'll call it fallen autumn craft something like that I'll tell you when I've done it and then we can follow along here and that will be for October 2022 that's it, right. I just need things a little bit clearer so I can see what I'm doing. Okay, so, right, where are we? We are, we are, uh, well, it's beachy, sandy, beachy, sunny, happy. Right, sunny, happy, sunny, happy, beachy. Okay, so I've got this piece here which is a bit more tropical. So let's go tropical with this one. This is this nice tissue paper that I used for the page for Arthur Bully's drawing room. <laughs> oh, so funny. That's in the French Linen Botanical Journal. I'll leave the link for that because that's a good one. I've so enjoyed doing that. 
really great. And then I'm just taking some book page, tearing down the, um, tearing off the blank edges so we've just got the text there. And I keep strips like that because merchant from Normandy. I'm a merchant from Normandy. Normandy is France. There we go. Um, French merchant. So what would they be selling? Well, maybe botanical. Oh, everything's going to be botanical because that's where my head is at the moment. I need to. Do I need to get out of that mode? No, I don't think I do. I like being stuck in in a world of lovely, happy flowers and botanics. I think it's it's a nice place to be. Here we go. Here's a nice, beautiful rose. I love roses. Roses are a nice thing. So we'll have we'll have a nice rose on this one. This is napkin. And that is, oh, there you are, there's a fleur de lire. So that's France, that's French. That's a nice French. I'm trying to think of something nice for my French page that's going to be going next to, oh, isn't that nice when you just decoupage that on? So all that is is one sheet of the napkin. Let's just lose that bit. So we've got our fleur de lis. I wonder who's going to get this one. Isn't it nice? Okay, and then that one's a bit... So that was tissue paper. Commercial bought tissue paper. And that is napkin. Um, beautiful effect. I like that. So I've got this bit here as well. Maybe that wants to go over here. So we just put a bit of glue down. Now if you can get yourself a nice flat brush like that, uh, you'll find this sort of thing is really very straightforward, very easy. It just makes itself very easy to do. So I'm just putting that there to get rid of that harsh line. That goes down. And all the crinkles and everything, that's just lovely. And then this watered down um, glue is just going to seal in that chalky paint and uh, then we won't get that all getting too damaged in the post. I'm going to have a little bit of book page. Let's see what this one's saying about herb garden, needlework, kitchen where the beef was already on the spit. Oh, okay. Okay. This one is And I'll just put that down there. So when these arrive um, to your Happy Mail reciprocants, they could use them as cards, journaling cards, or bookmarks. They could chop them up and do fun things with them. Um, so that's, a, a, that's another nice idea. So if you haven't done crafts with napkin before and you're new to this, you just take the end of your scissors or a bone folder, sort of swipe it over the edge there, and that squashes the little dimples. And then that allows you to separate the pieces. Uh, I've seen people get sellotape and then they end up ripping all the, all the other sheets. So you don't need to do that. It's just another step, isn't it, to go and find the sellotape. So now we've got these, they're both intact, perfectly usable for some other thing. Whereas this, I can now uh, pull off a bit of this, just rip a bit off. And put that on there. Super, super duper. Wrap it around. And if you've got any themed napkin as well, so if you wouldn't want to do um, maybe Halloween or you want to do something more Christmassy and festive or springtime or a birthday one, 
I think that, you know, that speaks for itself, doesn't it? I don't think we need much more. So we might have um, something along the bottom. And then the, you know, the post labels go all there, don't they? So the address is going to go there. I might just put something there. The other thing you can use is a nice washi tape. seal it all in and then this one's a bit different because this is the green so let's just um, put some glue down on the corner here and see what happens just going to put that dictionary paper up there because that was just falling out that's quite an old bit of dictionary, actually, that bit. I've got... This is tissue paper that we have uh, stamped in a previous video, so you've seen me how, seen how to do that. Um, I'll link that one. That's a good one. So, And I need to do some more. So this is the last of that stamped tissue paper with the images. i put that down there. And then this is just another use for tissue paper, gift gift wrap paper, something that would, you know, it goes a bit translucent, so it's absolutely great. And this one feels more, this one doesn't feel like the height of summer, this one. So I think I'm going to have that over there. And again, I'm just having a play. Just got a little, a little, a little out of myself before I have to go off and do some other things. So I just wanted to do this, and then, um, you know, then I can get these off into the post. So I'm just wrapping that round to give that nice edge. And this is just it's it's practicing techniques as much as making these look lovely. I am also practicing techniques that I could then bring in bring to other projects um, and just feeling you know this isn't going to be wasted and I'm doing something practical at the same time, so it's really good because I feel like I'm achieving quite a bit here all in one go, and this will be a lovely thing to send and receive. Just give that a bit more of a ragged edge. That's better. And then I'll, I'll just use this bit I tore off a minute ago. We'll have that. Merchants from Normandy. I think it's a good time to just tidy up the tops. That looks a bit... So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make the corners and then just tidy up that top bit edge. That's better. And then I'm just going to decorate this one up as well. So I don't like that bottom bit there, so I'm going to do something along there. And that's only because I stuck the tape on wonky because I was half asleep last night <laughs> trying to do it all. And the glue actually seals in everything, so I might just go over. So just glue that down. I've just got a bit of dictionary page here. Just put that on. This is nice, it's got a stamped image of a cotton. So we'll have that uh, vintage sewing paper here. So we'll just put that on as well. And glue that over. That's nice, I like that. 
another one done. So this could quite easily be a nice page that you decorate for the purpose of um, putting in your journal. So this is why this is quite a nice way of practicing because this could be for you that you then go and cut up and make some nice tags just using this idea as a masterboard. the edges now so that we can see what's what. Put a bit of glue. I mean once you get into a rhythm of it you can get these done fairly quickly. So it's quite nice to just seal it in for something like this because it is going to go through the postal system and in some cases it's going to travel overseas. Put down a bit of book page in the corner there and then I'm going to put this bit of napkin here which is fun. That's of an orchid. One of these flowers they were hunting for in the late 1800s along with all sorts they were hunting for butterflies and Things like that, weren't they? There we go, that's nice. And um, oh, it's nice talking about family, so that one's all right. And then maybe something up the side there. It seems to soak in quite quickly. Be some sticker up there as well. Something along the bottom. I think I'll come round with some washi tape. That's very fitting with the fretwork there, the old dictionary. That's real old world. I don't think we need anything more. And then that there. So this is really fun. It's quite nice to just settle in and um, just sit here quietly. I mean, this I, this is morning now for me here. So I've just, uh, I did this last night. I'm finishing this off today. The address will go there. We might want something else along the bottom, bit of washi tape, but I, I want to make sure that they dry. And... Um, yeah, once you get into the rhythm of it, not I've not done that. I've done it before, but I've not done it before, if that makes sense. I've not done, I haven't done the paint effect before, so it's just really fun to have a play. And just see what can be created, really. Just fun to lay down some papers and the, it works nicely with the thinner tissue papers. It's a lovely effect and then I think I'll have that one up there. It sort of crinkles in that just adds to it. It's, it's great. random arrow <laughs> this is who it's to that's good we enjoy doing that and um, just sitting here putting these together this morning 
is great because I've got quite a full day of doing some other mindless work and this has just allowed me to process and think what I now need to go and do and then what I'll do is this afternoon is I'll come back and I'll I'll feel more inspired to want to sit down and, and make something else. So it's, it is nice if you could just um, do a bit of uh, collage like that now and again. That really does allow your brain to take over and just have a play. And, you know, li little results like that, it, it, they're just nice. It's, it's a nice thing. And then this is going to be sent off to somebody who will appreciate it and um, ultimately not know what to do with it. <laughs> so apologies for that, but it is, as far as I'm concerned, it's ephemera. You can, you know, it's thread away. I've had my fun with it and now sending it out to, to make people smile and it really could then, from then on, I would love it if it would be recycled. I'm not precious about that. That is just... A, a moment a snapshot moment in time to bring some joy to you to you guys and um, to teach some techniques and ultimately bring some kindness around the world with a little ripple effect of the butterfly wings that is the logo of the treasured page so thank you ever so much for watching i'll um see if i can get uh, get this sticky mess out of the way when they're dry i'll take a photo and then i'll put that right at the end and you can see them all yeah, I think they need to dry and then I'll show you. I've had so much fun making these guys for you. It's been an absolute pleasure today to discover the colour wash and the collage. Just to sit down in my quiet crafting space to make this and just really enjoy the process. I, I just think all of them have come out so well. They're all individual and unique and I like the, the stamp being added there as well. The whole thing. Um, so each one will get a label when they're dry and that will just go there and then these will be posted out tomorrow and we'll see what the post lady thinks of it at the post office because I think um, these should get some sort of a reaction and if she doesn't appreciate them then I know that you guys will so there we are that's what we've been up to and um, I 
I really think that these could now convert onto pages in journals. Now that I've learned how to do that, I shall be enjoying that. I just love that. That colour smear there. I mean, it's it was so straightforward to do. So there we are. We have had a very lovely time here today at the Treasured Page. I hope you have had some quiet crafting time for you and um, and that you've been able to take inspiration here. So this is all going to be entered into the Autumn and Fall Crafts playlist. So if you'd like to follow along with that over the next couple of weeks, then I shall be putting some fun and exciting things there. Nice, loose, free uh, fun. OK, so fun crafts. Thank you for watching. Do please like and subscribe, share this and uh, let me know if you thought this was worthwhile with a comment below. And above everything else, just slow down and make crafting time for you. Bye bye now. <laughs>